My name's Richard Bentley. I'm the operations manager for the Mid Hants Railway. Uh, I've been working here full time since uh, July 2014. Uh, I've been working here as a volunteer since September 1981. Currently, we've got two mainline, ex mainline diesels. Uh, we've got a Class 50 uh, 50027 Lion uh, and this locomotive 47579 James Knightall PC. Um, at the moment, the Class 50 is not in service, that's having some maintenance and repairs done. Uh, whereas the 47 here is, is in service. We've also got a shunter fleet. We've got three Class 08 diesel shunters and a Class 11, uh, which currently at the moment we've only got one Class 08 in service. But uh, that, that's generally the fleet. We've, we have one or two come and go uh, on hire, but that's, that's nominally the, the, the basic fleet we operate. The maintenance can be quite involved because the, the, the vehicles are getting older. The, the newest diesel we've got here is built in 1968. So everything we've got is over 50 years old, some of them knocking on 70 years old in the case of some of the diesel shunters. So it's a very similar situation to the steam side of it, that there's, there's some parts available, but you're looking at having new stuff made. Um, and the bigger issue we've got with the, with the diesel side of it is as the wiring degrades as it gets older. So there's a lot more problems electrically wise. Uh, whereas a steam engine is very much a mechanical beast. The locos were all built in the UK, so there's, there's generally, there are a, a source of spares, but they, they do become harder and more expensive to get hold of. There's still probably 20 of these still in service on the national network. So there's, you know, there's a, so there's a fair reasonable source of spares and expertise, but it, it does become more difficult. Uh, they were built primarily to push steam out, um, which is always makes it a little bit of a, a love-hate relationship with the enthusiast side of the world. Um, a steam engine isn't the most efficient piece of equipment ever built. It's in 24 hours, you'll probably run a steam engine for probably I don't know, sort of 12, 14 hours a day before it needs maintenance. It need to go in to fire cleaned, need coal, need water. A diesel engine like this would probably run 23 hours out of 24. Uh, with one person operating it. The practical handling is exactly the same as a steam engine in, in regards to the, the braking and, and operating the trains. The, the difference with a diesel engine, this is a, what's called a diesel electric. So we've got a 12 cylinder twin bank um, sorts of diesel engine providing 2580 horsepower, um, driving a generator which produces DC current which then operates down to motors on each axle. There's six motors that actually do the power. So the, the, on the desk here, we've got a power controller, which basically gives the demand that I'm giving to the engine for how much power I need. Um, and then the electronics and the, and the electrical equipment operate through resistances to sort of you know, create the power, a bit like a gearbox in, in a physics sense. You, by knocking resistances out, you, you apply the same amount of power, but with less effort. So, so it's, a lot of it is based on, on operating the power controller in here. Physically, there's a lot less involved in op operating a diesel to a steam engine. It's actually quite a, an easy, easy concern, but um, the real sort of skill, if you like, is knowing what goes on in the engine room and when something goes wrong, where to go to put it right. 